Hi guys, welcome back to the seventh and final day of winter nail art week and in today's video I wanted to make a cute pink and white candy cane as well as a little snowman design. I couldn't really decide on if I just wanted to do candy cane or snowman so I just did both and I also made a little snowman on my thumbnail as well because that one is still pretty short but you want to start off with clean nails and as you can see my pointer fingernail broke off so I had to um, adhere a tip and a little bit of gel to extend the length of that one but let's just ignore that and go in with your base coat i am actually only using essence cosmetics polishes in this design so these are just regular nail polishes you can get at the drugstore or replace them for any other brand in a similar color so you just want to apply a good layer of base coat to your nails to protect them from staining and making sure that the design will last a long time then you want to go in with a white polish and this one is a white by essence i think i've got this for like five or maybe even six or seven years it was from like um a world cup uh, soccer whatever I don't even know but it was for the Dutch team so that's why it says Hup Holland Hup unfortunately we didn't win like the last I think decade <laughs> but yeah stuff happens if you have any white polish into the cuticle area or onto the skin just make sure to remove that and you want to go in with that white on the thumb the pointer finger and the pinky and always make sure to cap off the edges as well then for the middle finger i went in with like a really cute baby pink color and for the ring finger i just took a little bit of a darker pink shade to make it a little bit different but in the end the design and the colors will tie in perfectly because we're going to make a candy cane with lots of different pink colors as well as these two i just added to the ring finger and the middle finger so these are all um the gel nail polishes or like those little bottles from essence they say the gel like nail polish you don't have to cure them in a light or anything like that but they give the same high shine as a gel polish would do and they do last pretty long then i'm going in with the black and i'm just adding a little blob of that onto my tile and i'm going in with a donning tool to make some of the irregular shaped little eyes and mouth pieces for the snowman i'm doing on my thumb and I'm just going to make his little cute face. And I don't know how you call that in English, but like the little rock kind of thingies you put into the snowman to give him eyes and a little mouth. In Dutch, it is called like houtskool, which is charcoal. But I don't know if you guys call it charcoal as well, or you say it's like little pieces of coal or anything like that i don't know but with an orange color i'm going to give him a little carrot nose and the brush i was using actually had a little bit of like um the tip really annoyed me so there was like one little hair or like bristle hair um, which was way longer than all of the others so I just skipped that brush and went in with a small dolling tool to make the little carrot nose but I did um, manage to cut down that brush so I got rid of that really long random strand of hair or bristle so yeah you just want to make the nose a little bit like wonky because it's supposed to be a carrot and carrots aren't perfect by nature and to make it a really really cute face i added two little dots with white into each eye to give it kind of like a really cute adorable manga style kind of like snowman <laughs> you know what i mean um yeah that is actually already the thumb completely done so i'm going with um four different shades of pink to make my candy cane nails so i'm just using a longer bristled like striping brush and i really like this brush 
and I actually don't really use the brush um, and what I mean by that is I really let the brush do the work but on the other hand I tend to like just turn my finger in the direction I want the line to go so you don't have to be like really good at working with nail art brushes to do so if you have a longer striping brush and you just tilt your finger or kind of like roll your finger and your brush just glides over your nail nail you get like perfect stripes i'd say just check it out and try it once and practice definitely makes perfect so don't be bummed out if it doesn't look perfect from the first time trying it i've been doing nail art for so long and i'm still learning like a lot of new things every day so it's really not like a big deal if you screw up sometimes you know just try it out see what works best for you especially when you work on yourself it can be a little bit more difficult than when you're working on clients i always feel like to me personally because i am so used to working on myself it's for me a lot harder to do it on someone else's nails than to do it on my own but that's just because i'm so used to working on my own nails but normally if you're um, a nail tech or a nail artist and you only work on others nails working on your own can be a little bit more difficult but just try it out and see how it works for you what works best for you and practice makes perfect don't forget that and making mistakes is only a really positive thing at least nail art mistakes <laughs> so you can learn from them and do it better next time so yeah i just took four different pink colors so i took the lighter and the medium pink shade that we used on the middle finger and the ring finger and i also applied a darker berry pink color and a really beautiful like metallic shimmery almost like a purpley pink color it's a really gorgeous shade i love it so much i actually think i'm going to use this polish for one of my upcoming nail polish of the week videos because i feel it is such a gorgeous tone i want to wear it so much more and i actually just rediscovered this polish while i was going through my essence drawers um because i was just looking for tons of pink colors because i really wanted to make a pink um christmasy or wintery design because i didn't really make one yet and i did one last year and i really liked it but i wanted to do something different so yeah i rediscovered this beautiful metallic purpley pink color i don't know if it is still available but i think there are a bunch of other brands um, which have similar colors so you just want to apply the lines wherever you want them to be and as thick or thin as you want them to be it doesn't really matter you can just play with it then we're going to make two little snowmen on the ring finger and the middle finger as well and for the middle finger i decided to make a little bit of a smaller one so i just added two round shapes they don't have to be perfect um just don't worry about that at all and i'm just going to cover the um like outer part of the tip or like underneath the snowman with some white as well and this is just the same white we used as a base for the pinky the pointer finger and the thumb and we're going to do the same thing for the ring finger but instead of two little round shapes i'm going to add three and i have to say i think that the one with the two so the one i did on the middle finger is a lot more cute than the bigger one but i think you can just try it out for yourself and see what you like best i just feel like the smaller one is a little bit more cute and a little bit like more easy to do on different kind of sizes of nails because i have pretty long nails i would say they are medium length because i've had them longer than this but some girls and guys have like way shorter nails so i think the one with just the two little circles 
um, is easier to do for most nail sizes and nail shapes. But yeah, once that base is on there, I just wanted it to uh, have a minute to dry. So I went in with a smaller size donning tool and just added some random dots to represent some falling snowflakes. I have to say that in the Netherlands, I know that there were some particular areas where there was already snow, but where I live, like pretty close <laughs> to um, the North Sea and stuff like that and there's like water all around us here in Zeeland. Um, I'm actually the province is really close to Belgium but um, I haven't seen any snow here and I have to say I'm really happy about it because um, now I am recording this voiceover. I have five days off of work because next week it is um, Christmas. So I actually don't have to work until Thursday, which is pretty cool. So I was really happy that it didn't snow yet because I still had to go out with my car and stuff. And I just hate driving through snow because I'm just really scared. I'm like going to slip with my car and totally crash. But yeah, it hasn't snowed a year yet, or at least like where I live. But let me know down in the comments if there is any snow where you live, if you like it or not. I'm really curious about that because I do really like snow in general. I just really dislike driving through snowy weather. <laughs> but yeah, back to the tutorial. I added some small black dots to represent the coals or like the house coal in Dutch. Um, on the little snowman, but I have to say I felt like I didn't have enough space on those tiny little faces to give them some carrot noses, so I just totally skipped that. Um, looking back to it, I think I might have just, if I had just added a tiny like little line of orange, it would have tied in this design like completely, but on the other hand, I think that if I might have added it, it might have been like not noticeable enough if you know what i mean so on one hand i'm like i should have added it but on the other hand it might have been a hot mess if i did but yeah i just wanted to give the little snowman some cute little black hats because i felt like they could need a little bit extra and i also added a little scarf to the tiny snowman on the middle finger but i totally forgot to record that or at least i thought i was recording but i wasn't so yeah stuff like that happens every now and then i think a lot of other youtubers especially nail art uh, tutorial creators can really like relate to that but yeah, to finish off this design, I'm just going in with a layer of top coat. And I did want to add a top coat by Essence Cosmetics, but I didn't have one in reach. So I just went in with my regular Catrice High Shine. Or is it High Shine and Quick Dry? I think it is. But um, yeah, I actually really like this design. I think I'm going to recreate this design on my mother-in-law as well, but just do the candy cane ones on all of the fingers and maybe do like an accent nail of the little snowman face. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you liked these uh, this seven days of um, winter nail art week. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, if you like this design, which one of the seven was your favorite, but I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next video.